Welcome back, everybody. I hope your year is off to a good start. I took out my passenger seat and I'm starting to work on the interior as I talked about in previous episodes. And I'm just measuring up the amount of aluminum I want to cover and vinyl wrapping. I'm going to use the same leather vinyl wrap that I use on my center console. Uh, I only did the top half though. I still need to do the bottom half. One part of my center console that still looks unfinished is a square cutout hole for the shift boot. So I've gone ahead and I've designed a 3D printed a ring to cover that. Here I have my part set up in the slicing software for the 3D printer. I added four triangular pieces to the part that are sloped on top and bottom. That way it's easy to snap into place, but also won't break the feature when I pull it out. And here's what the machine will see, one slice at a time. I have an SLA printer that prints really smooth parts, so that'll be nice for the finish. but it can still benefit from some light sanding. Then hit it with some primer and hit it with some paint. So it's gonna snap in right there and cover up that hole, make it look a little more finished. I've already made a second version with rounded corners on the outside and inside to make it look a little more finished. I got a new phone that no longer fits in these small cup holders. So I'm gonna look into designing an adapter that I can put in here that'll fit my new larger phone. Maybe while I'm at it, I can get the phone to tilt toward the driver a little more and make it easier to read while driving. Here's everything that still needs to be finished on the passenger side. You can cover the foam, wrap some of this bare aluminum, including the rear firewall. I had to raise the driver's side firewall but I went with an aftermarket gas tank and it wouldn't clear on that side. And the eighth inch thick aluminum is very hard to bend back. So this is about the best I could do. So I plan to 3D print a transition piece here to fill this gap in and I can wrap over it and try to make it a little smoother. And then the front footwells, I'm gonna to try to do with carpet. So I've never done carpet before, but I'm gonna give that a go. So I've gone ahead and I moved the charcoal canister a little bit higher. Previously, it was down a few inches, and it was lower than my fuel filler, which is that silver neck in the back. When I filled my fuel tank all the way up, it would backflow into the charcoal canister and come out the vent tube on top, and it would drip a little bit of gas out from underneath the car to that vent tube. So by raising it higher, fuel will no longer get into the charcoal canister and drip a little bit out of the top. I've also adjusted my rear hatch. It was sticking down here along this edge. So I've gone ahead and adjusted it, so now it opens smoothly again. You can see where it had previously dug into here. Right here. And now things are opening and closing smoothly again. While adjusting the hatch, I was able to get the top to sit just a little bit lower. This is about the closest I've gotten to flush. The glass still sits a little bit higher than the roof. It's not ideal, but that's the best available to do so far. I have a long list of things I want to do with this car this winter, so I'm trying to refine it and get it a little more finished. So stick around for future episodes. I should have some pretty cool stuff that I'm going to be working on. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.